Real quick tonight, I'm going to uh, get the water pump. This is the raw water um, intake pump for cooling the engine in a Mercruiser Alpha uh, 1 Gen 2 uh, outdrive. So anyway, this is all tore apart. I pulled the lower unit off. I removed all of the um, old water pump that's on there, and now I'm just back to this more main seal and I did this in a different video but first thing you want to do with the water pump is grab two uh, bolts that actually fit in these holes and you gotta find the same thread thread count and everything and they're fairly long uh, these were actually uh, I believe a coil screw or an intake manifold screw off of another automotive deal well, anyway I'm gonna cut these cut the heads off of them and use them as alignment pins re alignment pins really quick Okay, with the magic of, <clears throat> of editing, I got those two uh, bolts cut off, and then I just kind of rounded them off with the grinder real nice. So these will be my alignment pins that I'll use. So I'm going to get these kind of started here. So the water pump kit that I'm using is the GLM 12414, and that comes with a new base plate, new impeller new seals, new housing, um, pretty much everything that was the entire kit. So I just kind of wanted to cover all my bases with one shot here. So this is the first gasket that goes down here. It has lettering on the one side and not on the other. And uh, just in this case, in this kit that I'm using, uh, lettering side up is the way. You notice how it just falls right down there, no issues on the pins <coughs> like that. If you take it off and flip it around to letters down, um, it, it definitely does not want to go on there as easily. You know, you can see how it, it gets hung up. And even if you kind of try to work it, it just won't, won't really go very friendly down there. So um, that's my indication that, uh, <laughs> that this is the way it's supposed to go. Next thing is the, uh, this little base plate. And same deal, it'll slide on there really nice. Or if you take it off and you flip it around the other way, it won't go on there. You can see it just won't. It'll catch one of the pins but not the other, so make sure you get that going on there the right way. Next gasket is this guy, and same deal. Um, in this instance, the red gasket goes up. Um, it doesn't go on the other way, kind of like all the other ones have been. Next is the key. Uh, so this piece... <clears throat> actually goes right here in the in the little uh, keyway on the actual shaft um, but basically this does not come in the uh, new kit so I'm gonna have to reuse the one that I have so I'm just gonna take a dab of grease and stick it right to the actually stick it right to the, the flat here on the axle or on the uh, shaft The next piece you put on is the actual impeller itself, and so um, you know it's it's obviously brand new, so it's it's nice and strong here. So um, you notice that it has that that little keyway there that actually interfaces with with this uh, actual key here. So I'm gonna slip this right down. There it goes, and so you see now it's it's locked to the shaft. If I turn it, it actually turns the shaft too. So here's the new housing, um, the old one, um, it wasn't too scarred up but I didn't know what it was going to look like and I didn't want to wait for parts anyway, kind of an unknown history boat. So I wanted to start fresh and new. Um, so this only goes on again the one way but you should be used to that by now. And so I'm going to stick this over the top like so, get it started on my alignment pins. And then obviously that's not going to work right there. Um, you could sit here and fiddle with trying to shove all these in here but I don't have you know six hands to do this on all those blades so what you do is you actually turn this shaft turn turn the actual shaft by hand so that it actually turns it in the way that that the engine will turn it and that'll actually while you're pushing down and that'll make it make those blades kind of bend and go up into the into the case so here's my old housing um, when I took it off I didn't uh, I put the 
um, impeller right back in the way it was. You can actually see some of the, the marks right there. See how they're kind of arced that same way? So I the reason I left this this way is because I knew it'd be, you know, many weeks later that I would actually go to put this um, water pump on. And I would forget which way it was going in there. I mean, obviously I could actually figure it out, but it was easier to just do it this way. So um, basically what I'm gathering from this is that I need to rotate, um, you know, this, this um, impeller was rotating this direction. So if I actually transfer that to, to the shaft and use this as a reference for that one, I need to turn it like, um, clockwise looking down clockwise looking down so that's what I'm gonna um, use to to do this and I'm just gonna kind of grab onto the splines there and give that thing a turn and see if this works so now just for reference I think I can sneak this guy off of here and now you'll notice those are going the same direction so that's what we want. So that was done right. So now I'm gonna go quick shove this one right back on. The keyway should be still aligned because I took it off with the alignment pins on there. We're good to go. So before I pull the alignment pins out, I'm gonna start these um, screws so that uh, I kind of keep that alignment. Okay, so I got those two tied down, or uh, bolted down here, here, and then the opposite side back here. So now I'm going to pull out my alignment pins, and one thing you can check is that that uh, actual housing isn't rubbing against the, the shaft, which it isn't, so that's good. Okay, I have the finest piece of uh, one inch PVC here, and I'm going to actually use that <clears throat> to push the seal right here down onto the top of this but it's not really pushed down all that far or hard so what I did is I I did grease up this shaft so there's kind of there's like a layer of grease kind of packed up underneath here <clears throat> and so what I'm going to do is pull up on the shaft as much as I can while I'm pushing down on the seal to where it just barely touches the top of that housing so I actually have to shorten up my pipe so I can actually grab onto the top of here. I'm kind of covering the whole shaft up. Okay, so there's the little pusher piece I got. And I'm going to lift up on the shaft all that I can there. Push it down. Until it barely touches there. And the last part is this uh, little neck that actually stabs on the top of there. Um, there's actually two O-rings down inside there. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up, but you gotta take both O-rings out and replace them with the new ones in the kit. So there's the two old ones there. They were kind of crunchy when I peeled them out of here, but now I gotta try and mash these new ones in here. And they're uh, pretty stubborn, but there it goes. So you can see that is definitely a little more, uh, I don't know, pronounced than the other one was. Okay, so I got the new O-rings down in there. Now I'm just going to take a little, uh, little blue grease and kind of lube these up so that it actually slides down onto the uh, housing better. Okay, so I'm going to put my last two bolts in and uh, that's going to be it. So. Uh, that's how you change the raw water pump on a Mercruiser Alpha 1 Gen 2.